Hello English 102 students, this is your professor Michael Bloomingberg, and I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the start of the semester and what we're going to be doing um, in this particular video is reviewing the course syllabus. Now, I've already pulled it up on Blackboard but if you're uncertain where to find it you'll just find it in the syllabus tab as you'll see here in the corner but I've already downloaded it so I'm going to pull it up and we're going to take just a few minutes to go over it together. So as you can see, um, my name is Michael Bloomingberg, and uh, office hours are listed, but please note, since this is an online class, English 102, the best way to contact me is via email. So feel free to email me if you have any questions. The Chair of Humanities, Fine Arts, and Social Sciences is Dr. Michael Goldman, and his information is provided for you on the syllabus, as well as our Administrative Assistant, Aaron Johnson. Now, many uh, of you will already recognize some of the aspects of the syllabus from when you had English 101, but the information has pretty much changed. So what you'll note here is that English 102 emphasizes argumentative writing and provides further instruction and in drafting and systematically revising essays that express ideas in standard English. Um, this includes critically uh, and logically thinking, responding to text, specific audiences, researching and documenting academic sources. So I'll give you the uh, opportunity to look more at that. There is no textbook required for our class, so everything you'll need will be provided for you on Blackboard um, in the course uh, content folder each week. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to go over the general education competencies, but I'll let you look over those on your own and just uh, let me know if you have any questions about those. Now we do have student learning outcomes in English 102. Best way to think about these is uh, just simply thinking about the kinds of things that you're hoping to gain once you complete the course. That is, develop an appropriate and articulate argumentative thesis, plan, draft, revise, edit, and proofread to produce well-written essays. Number three, write in standard English that's appropriate to purpose and audience. Four, document sources appropriately in selected writing assignments. Five, respond in writing to college-level reading material. Six, recognize and use different types of argumentation, including causal analysis, evaluation, definition, proposal, and rebuttal. And seven, use library search tools to find print and non-print materials. Which leads us to the central question of the class, how can I produce an effective argument? In one way or another, that's what we're building toward with each task that I have you do in the class. Now in English 102, the grading criteria is a weighted percentage, so please note that. And please note that essays are worth half of your grade in the course, 50%. Uh, there will be three regular essay assignments in addition to a fourth, which will take place at the very end of the semester. 30% um, in the form of different uh, types of assignments and 20% participation. Participation will be assessed each week. The grading scale is as listed on the syllabus, 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, 70 to 79 is a C, so on and so forth. Now, students are required to post on the discussion board during the first week of the semester. Please note the deadline for first week's work on Blackboard. Um, that is listed for each discussion assignment. And since we are an online class, there's no official statement regarding attendance. You're never going to be required to come to campus. But if you want to come by uh, my office during office hours, if you're struggling with anything in the class, you are certainly welcome to do that, but you don't have to come in for any exams or anything like that. Uh, late assignment makeup policy is listed. Please note that. Biggest thing to know is that if you know ahead of time that you're going to be missing or late on an assignment, you have to contact me. It's not a given that late work will be accepted, but uh, I do treat that as kind of a case-by-case -case situation. So you, again, email me is the best way to stay in contact. Withdraw policy, I'm not going to go into that, but it is listed for you on the syllabus if you need to take a look at that. I will say a quick word about academic integrity. Uh, students may be subject to disciplinary proceeding resulting in an academic penalty 
or disciplinary penalty for academic honesty. Now, academic uh, dishonesty includes, but is not limited to, cheating on a test. We really don't have tests in the class, but there are quizzes from time to time. Uh, the big one for our course is plagiarism. That's where a student takes someone else's words or ideas and tries to present them as his or her own. Collusion is just where two or more students conspire to be academically dishonest. So just be aware of that and please note that academic dishonesty is unacceptable and there are penalties involved. I've linked the student code of conduct if you need to take a look at that. Now, students with disabilities who require accommodations for English 102 must contact Rosetta Berry, and I have placed for you her contact information on the syllabus. In Somerset Community College, in compliance with federal law, including provisions of Title IX of the Educational Amendment of 1972, and the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 does not discriminate on the basis of race, sex, religion, color, national or ethnic origin, age, disability, or military service. Now, if you have any direct complaints of discrimination or harassment, uh, you should contact Tracy Cassida, and I have put her information on the syllabus for you. Um, Academic and technical support. Um, I've given you all the information on the syllabus for that. If you need any help with research, tutoring, computer services, please make note of the link and the information provided. Uh, Starfish is a program we've been using for a few years now here at Somerset. And basically how it works is there will be a couple times throughout the semester where I will be asked to uh, complete a uh, an academic progress report for you in the form of a starfish survey. Those surveys, once completed, will be sent to you and your academic advisor. SNAP stands for Safety Notification Alert Process. If you plan to spend any time on campus, you might want to sign up for that. It's just a standard text message that will let you know if there's any cancellations or delays for on-campus classes or activities along with weather notifications and any emergency situations that may be taking place. Uh, we're an online class, so it really doesn't apply, but if you are ever on campus, just note that we are a tobacco-free uh, campus. Uh, the course outline is provided for you. We'll be following this as much as possible, but please note it is tentative and subject to change. More likely than not, we'll have to move some things around, take some things off, and add some things on. Um, but we'll go week from week in the class. So course content and Blackboard is always the area you want to go. Typically, work will be uh, available for you first thing Monday morning. And you'll have until Sunday at midnight the, uh, to complete uh, that week's work, and then it'll kind of uh, restart again Monday morning, if that makes sense. All right, I think that's pretty much it for the syllabus video. If you have questions, again, feel free to email me. I'll be making one more week one video, which will be walking you through the Blackboard um, navigation area. So I look forward to working with you this semester, and if you have questions, again, feel free to email me, but this does complete the syllabus video.